Painter Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. I'm using Painter 2015, but the same basic approach can be used in earlier versions as well. Okay, I'm going to use some type or text, but I'm just going to use arrow fonts. Now, these ones are uh, from Graphic Extras. You can find them on the Graphic Extras website. And I'm just going to add a design. Just quickly find, yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Go to the Layer Adjuster tool. Now, in an earlier video, I previously showed about the bevel world. And I'm just going to quickly go to the bevel world. So I'm just going to now bring up, and this is like I say, it's still tight, but now as soon as I do that, it comes up, turn it into an image layer. Just going to go with this bevel. This is a basic bevel. So you've just got a standard bevel. I'm not going to change it in this video for the first time anyway. But I'm just going to, so now it's got a bevel and it's got a dynamic uh, plug-in attached. Well, you can also apply it again. So you, you don't obviously can't apply it again. Unfortunately, just go over here because it will, so if I just bevel world, commit dynamic, and that's all you can do. You can't actually add it and add it and add it. It actually adds another image layer. It turns it into an image layer, and then you can continue on. So now you can see you've actually got this design, already got a bevel, but you've got now another bevel. So you can just add another bevel quickly and easy. And this is a quick way of adding multiple colors to the bevel. Not ideal, it would be nice if the actual tool allowed for the multiple colors. But you can actually see you've got the red being added to it. There's a, now you can add obviously green. So you can also tweak it obviously. Go like that, add, modify it, gain slope, click OK. Once you've actually done that, you can go back again and you can say, right, once to turn that again, convert default layer. So you can just go there again and now just go to Bevel World again. So just bring it up again. And each time, obviously, you add sort of multiple layers of unusualness to the. I'm just going to go for a different color again, light color. Click OK. And again, you can continue. Obviously, you just have to just go again, convert to default layer. Just go back to the dynamic plugins, Bevel World. And you can see you can actually build up. Quite obviously, sometimes some of these things could actually overwrite the previous one, but you can actually see you're actually building up a far more complex bevel than if you just just applied it once. And that's the thing. So you've got shine there, scatter, and a bit of brightness as well. And again, you can modify the color. You don't have to go with that color. You can go with, you can still see the red and obviously previous green coming through and there you have it you've got an interesting sort of color and of course at this point I'm going to finish but it's basically show you can actually use dynamic plugin dynamic plugin dynamic plugin it doesn't have to be used just once in painter 2015